Hi guys, and welcome back to another video again with Powers. I'm Jake, and today I'm bringing you another uh, solo playthrough of 51st State Ultimate Edition. In today's video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the New York solo variant, all right, playing against the uh, New York faction, all right. I'm going to be switching things up uh, from today's video. I'll actually be playing as the Mutants Union, and we're going to be taking on the New York faction. So let's go ahead and jump to the table, guys, where I got everything set up, ready for a playthrough. All right, guys, so as I said earlier today, in today's video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the New York Solitaire variant, all right? So it says right here in New York, uh, the masters of building, New York has never stopped expanding. Try to keep up. During step seven of the lookout phase, draw two cards for the virtual player instead of only one, all right? And basically, that just means, guys, when I draw cards from the top of the deck, instead of uh, drawing two, um... At the end of the phase, I'll uh, instead of drawing one to give him once he takes all the cards, he'll get two. All right, so that's how that's gonna work, guys. Other than that, everything is the same. Again, I'll be taking a, I'll be playing as the Mutants Union right here. So uh, the, some of the things about the Mutants Union during the production phase, I get three workers, one gun, one great contact token, one card. Okay, so my production is gonna be a gun. And then my actions are going to be to spend two gears for two great contacts, spend one gun for three red contact tokens, and spend one gas canister for one blue contact token. And then, of course, guys, I can spend workers to gain either one resource or one card. But uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, for today's video, guys, as well, I'll be showing off the New Era uh, expansion. So these are all cards from the New Era expansion. So I'm gonna exclusively uh, use these cards for as long as that I'm available. And then of course I have uh, some cards from the base deck as well if I need them. But let's go ahead and give this a shuffle guys and jump right in taking a look at the New Era expansion. All right, so the Winter expansion was kind of cool, seemed to Add in uh, resources. That's one, two, three, four. So the winter expansion was kind of cool, guys. It seems like they added in uh, some cards where I could trade in an abundance of resources to gain a lot of victory points. Um, and it seemed a lot of the production were producing double resources or one or the other. I kind of like that. Let's take a look at this new era and see what we got here. So I got old settlements, a distance of two. Uh, spend one gear to gain one worker. This can be activated twice. That's not bad. Uh, oil field. Spend one worker to gain two uh, gas canisters. All right. I think I'm going to uh, keep that. Uh, spend one worker to gain two bricks for Brick Village. Uh, I think I'm going to keep that. Uh, combat zone. Spend one worker to gain two uh, red or two guns. Keep that. Uh, hidden Forge production and then feature each time you make a deal gain one victory points man These are some good cards um, All right, hold on here. I think I'm gonna keep combat zone for guns in that um, Each time I make a deal gain one victory point uh, Hidden Forge production is a Hmm I mean, brick is good resources. Um, I'll get rid of old settlement. Don't really need that, I think. Uh, man, police thing or brick village. I think I'm just going to take the brick village. Uh, I don't think the shields are going to come in that handy, all right? So these are the four cards that are going to be in my starting hand, guys. And then, of course, we're going to go to the lookout phase. I've already got these two cards set up, so let's see what we got. So we have a Haven, Ricky the Merchant, we have Ricky the Merchant and Ohio Cavalry. Spend one worker and one gas canister to gain three contact, blue contact tokens. Hmm. Man, this is this is tough. Um, a gear and a bullet can be very good. I think I'm gonna take the Ohio Cavalry. He's gonna go. So that's five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. He's taking Ricky to Merchant. And again, I'm just putting these over here. I think I'm going to take Ricky to Merchant. And then he'll take a Haven, right? Uh, we'll see how this kind of works out. So that's what I got. Then uh, in the production phase, guys. So we now move into the production phase. So I gain three workers. 
I gain a gun, I get a great contact token, and I get a card, all right? So Pete's office, each time you make a deal, gain one victory point, all right? And now we are ready to go, all right? So, man. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to give him two cards. Uh, so he gets a secret outpost for one, and then he gets an additional mesmerizing dwelling, all right? So I'm gonna spend two workers to grab a punk's card. He's gonna take the junk train, getting him two victory points. And now we are back to me, all right? Uh, again, I'm gonna try and stall out. So I'm gonna play this punk's card, gaining two uh, red contact tokens, all right? And then he would go. So he's gonna attack me. Obviously, I have nothing at my disposal right now. So that's one attack. All right, let's see. I got a great contact token. Um, I think just try and stall them out. All right, so that was, I'm gonna spend this gun to grab three, so that's one, two, and three for that action. He gets to go again. I have nothing, and then one more action. I think I'm gonna raise one of his locations. So I got five at my disposal. So that's two victory points, that's two workers, that's two gears. Um, what is that, two, 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 one? All right, so I could get two and a one. So I think um, I'll raise this first, all right? So I need two red contact tokens. We're gonna go ahead and raise this, gaining two gears and a bullet. All right, uh, two gears and a bullet, all right. And then it would go to him for his third time. So he is unsuccessful in attacking me. So then I get to play for the remainder of my turn. All right, so I'm going to... Hmm. Spend these two gears to gain two great contact tokens and see where we're at. Okay, so I got three. Um, I get a gun every turn, so I'm thinking about making deals. Would probably be the best way. So I'm going to spend two great contact tokens and play the Ohio Cavalry. All right. And then spend one great contact token to play Ricky the Merchant, all right? And he will produce a blue contact token. All right. Uh, then what I'm going to do is... That's what I have left over. So then what I'm going to do is spend two red contact tokens and take out the mesmerizing dwellers. So this is two victory points and a card. All right, so two victory points and a card. So I'm getting black market contact. So you may store up to three uh, blue contact tokens during the cleanup phase, take them back during the next production phase, building bonus of one, all right? Uh, and then I'm gonna spend my last red contact token and I'm gonna take out his Ricky the Merchant, get me a worker and a gas canister, all right? Gas canister and an extra worker, okay. Now, what we're gonna do is grab a gas canister and a worker, and I'm gonna gain three. One, two, and three uh, blue contact tokens, all right. Uh, I'm gonna spend two of these and I'm gonna make a deal with Pete's office, all right? So that's gonna grab me a victory point every turn. And then, let's see. I can spend, all right. I'm gonna spend another one and make a deal to grab an oil field, grabbing a gas canister every turn. And then I think I'm going to bricks or guns. Uh, I think I'm going to do combat zone for one. 
all right, and make a deal with them grabbing a gun, all right? So now I have one bullet and one worker at my disposal, all right? Um, and I don't think I can do anything because this is considered a resource, all right? I don't have anything, yep. So I am out of options because I really don't have anything left. So we're going to the cleanup phase. So let's go ahead and take all this stuff away. All right, and then we're going back up top to the new lookout phase. All right, that's what we got. Let's go ahead and draw the four cards. We have the Iron Gang, the Hunters, the Rehabilitation Center, and the Bus Station. So produce a red contact token each time you raise gain one worker. Spend one red contact token to gain one worker, and each time you make a deal, gain one worker. Hmm. I think I'm going to take the iron game. Let's go ahead and roll for him. So four. So that's one, two, three, four. He's taking the rehabilitation center. And then I'm going to do hunters. All right. He gets the bus station. He'll get two additional cards, uh, natural shelters and that. All right. So now we are going to the uh, production phase guy. So I'm producing a victory point. Uh, I get a gas canister, I get a gun from my deals, I get three workers. This is one, two, and three. I get another gun, uh, I get a great contact token, and I get a card, all right? So, Gangers Dive. Uh, you may store up to three red contact tokens here during your cleanup phase, take them back during the next production phase. Uh, distance of one and a building bonus of a red contact token, all right? And then I also get a blue contact token uh, for Ricky the Merchant. All right. Uh, so that is everything. So we are looking at me. Uh, so we, uh, I need to get this Pete's office out. Um, but I don't have a way to get another gray contact token. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk something here. All right. Uh, I'm gonna spend two workers and grab a gear. Trade them in for a gear. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. No, because I got workers over there actually. Uh, so I'm going to take this back. I'm lying, guys. I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm going to spend two workers. I don't know why I did that. Two workers. I'm going to take a Punk's card. All right. So he's going to take the Merchant card. So he's getting two victory points, bringing him up to four. Now we are on to me. Um, I'm going to spend my last worker and this gas canister to gain three blue contact tokens. All right, so now he's gonna go and attack. Uh, we got an up arrow and a machine gun. So up area, up arrow, he's gonna destroy this Ohio Cavalry. All right, because there is a tie and then it goes to unused action. So Ohio Cavalry gets destroyed and I get a blue deal token. All right, remember for space guys, I'm getting that away. So I get a blue deal token, all right? It's not bad, but I get to get the rest of my actions, all right? Now it's time to go to work. Okay, uh, so I'm going to spend, well, I'm going to play my Punks card and gain two red contact tokens. I'm going to spend these two uh, red contact tokens, and I'm going to blow up one of his buildings. So uh, let's see here. That's two, two, two. Uh, I'm going to take this natural shelters, right? So we got two workers and a bullet. Two workers and a bullet. So get my two workers back. Two workers back and grab me a bullet as well. All right. Um, and then I'm going to trade in one of these guns to grab three contact tokens. Three red contact tokens. Uh, I'm going to take out his 
uh, bus station. So that's two red contact tokens down. Take a nice bus station, which will give me two workers and a card, all right? So this is two workers and a card, which is gonna be a car garage. So open production is a defense, building production is a defense, and location of distance of two, all right? And then I'm gonna spend one to destroy his rehabilitation center, which is two workers, all right? So I gain two workers, rehabilitation center is down, all right? Uh, so I'm gonna trade in two workers to grab a gear. I'm gonna treat the bullet as a gear, okay? So that's one gear and that's two gear to grab two gray contact tokens, all right? I've already used my red action, so I can't do that. Uh, and then let's see where I'm at. All right, so I'm gonna spend two of these gray contact tokens and I'm gonna summon Pete's office as a feature, okay? Which is each time I make a deal, I gain um, one victory point, okay? I also have a one gray contact token left over. So, you know, I'm almost tempted to play this all right uh well that's gonna give me a red but i don't really want red now i'm gonna play this instead all right so i'm gonna spend my last great contact token and we're gonna play the ganger's dive okay so which i can store up to three red contact tokens the building bonus for this is a red contact token uh now let's go ahead and make some deals all right so i'm gonna spend one blue contact token to make a deal with the brick village uh, grabbing me a brick. Since I've made a deal, I gain one victory point. So I'm gonna spend two uh, contact tokens to play hunters. All right. This will give me uh, two. Uh, this will give me one victory point and give me a worker every turn. And then I think I'm gonna spend another two, making a deal with the car garage and grabbing me another victory point. All right, so hopefully I did all of that right. All right, so now I have one and one left over, but I can't use anything to get them yet. Um, I'm gonna keep, I've, I've used the gun, so that's useless to me. Uh, I think I'm gonna spend both these workers to draw a card. Guild's Garage is a feature with a distance of two. Each time you make a deal, gain one card, all right? Um, I spend these last two workers, draw another card, why not? Mesmerizing Dwelling, each time you raise, gain one victory point. All right, that's pretty nice. All right, so that's all I can do, guys. So we'll head to the cleanup phase. I'm gonna store my red contact token here. This gun will go away. That's all that. Let's go ahead and go back up top to the lookout phase. Get our two new locations and draw four new cards, all right? So we have a church, the hunters, builders, and the hangar, okay? Mm. I think I'm going to take the hangar. And let's see if... Six. So he would take the builders. Um, I'll grab the church and then let him take the hunters. All right, so he's taking an additional two cards. Uh, at the end of his turn and now we're going to meet in the production phase all right so i'm getting a victory point i get a gas canister a gun a brick um a worker a red contact token all right i also get three workers one two and three i get another gun all right i get a great contact token i get a card so post office a uh, distance of two uh, spend one worker to gain one blue contact token. This may be activated twice. All right, that's cool. Uh, and then I grab a blue contact token. All right, so that is everything that is in the production phase. And we come up top to me, all right? Um, I think, I mean, every time I make a deal, I get a victory point. But I can raise his, uh, each time you raise, I get a victory point. I mean, that can be successful. Oh, I'll, I'll, this uh, great con or this red contact token will come back to me. Um, 
I don't know if I want to take the merchants or the punks. Um, because I don't think... I'm just saying that for right now because uh, I think I'm going to take the merchants. I think I'm just going to go with the deal strategy to try and get as many victory points as possible. So I will spend two workers, grab the merchant's card. He'll take the punk's card and gain himself two victory points. So that's one, two. Um, and then we're back to me, okay? So uh, what I will do next, guys, is... Um, Play my merchant's card. All right, so it gives me two blue contact tokens. All right, and then uh, we're going to go to him and see if we can destroy something. So up and gas canister. So we have a up, we have a up and gas canister. Uh, so I believe it's going to be the feature. So they have the tie raper rules right here, guys, on this side. So... What if there's still a tie? We give you the tiebreakers check in this order. A card with a greater distance. Uh, so both these cards are going to have a distance of one. We have any unused actions and then used actions. So no action cards. Uh, features and then productions. Yep. So features will go first. So these gainer dives will get raised. So I'll get a red contact token as compensation. And he will gain two victory points putting him at eight. All right. So now his turn is over with, and I am free to kind of relax and uh, do what I want to do. All right, so um, I think I'm going to spend two blue contact tokens and make a deal with the church. Give me another victory point every turn. So by doing that, I gain a victory point All right, for making a deal. And then um, I'll spend one uh, blue contact token and make a deal with the black market. Give me a blue contact token every turn. So that gives me another victory point. All right. Uh, red. Let's see what we got. Um, okay. So if I could grab another gear, that'd be handy. I'm going to trade in a gun. To gain three red, boom, boom, boom. I should have the raise because I'm raising a lot. All right. Uh, spend one gas canister to grab one blue contact token. So then the last thing, I need to find a bullet. All right. So let me look at all his cards over here. Do any of these have a bullet? They do. Okay. So uh, spend two red contact tokens to destroy his production manager getting me two cards and a bullet all right so i'm getting a foundation and a radioactive colony so foundation distance of one it says place one construction token on this location you may spend it during your turn do not discard it during the cleanup phase uh or radioactive colony so uh when i play this feature uh, place one worker, two bullets, one blue contact token, and one red contact token on this location. You may spend them during your turn. Do not discard them during the cleanup phase. All right. And uh, then I get a bullet. All right. So there's my bullet. And let's see what else we got at my disposal. Other than that, just workers and things like that. But what I'm going to do is treat this as, oh, no, I need two gears. Oh, man. Uh, and nothing can give me a gear except trading in two workers. So I trade in two workers and grab a gear. So treat this bullet as a gear. Use this as a gear to gain uh, two gray contact tokens. All right. I'm going to spend these two gray contact tokens. And we're going to play Mesmerizing Dwelling. So each time I raise, I gain one. And then, uh, let's see here. I'm going to spend the last great contact token to play the Iron Game, which will produce a red contact token. I get a red contact token because uh, it will produce whatever I get on my turn. All right. So now it's time to go do work. Uh, let's see. Do I have a one? Yes. So I'm going to spend my blue last blue contact token, make a deal with the foundation, grabbing a brick. 
uh, give me another victory point, bring me up to 10. All right, and then let's just see uh, what I got. Not a whole lot here, so uh, let's see. Two red contact tokens. We're going to destroy the gasoline uh, tower, which is two workers and a gas canister. All right, those go away. Uh, I'm going to spend another two red contact tokens and destroy the... Um, uh, the hunters all right so that's another i gave two workers and a card so i get human trafficker each time you make a deal gain one worker all right so both those are gone and then i just have one left over so i really can't do anything with that all right but i do get two victory points for raising uh two of his cards um and then I believe that's all I can do. Um, I need to build that post office uh, to get use these workers. So I'll just trade in for these workers to draw two cards. So get an excavator, which is open production of a construction tool. And expedition camp, which is produce one gun and one bullet. So what this is, guys, is I can spend that and place it over one of my cards that are on the table now, and I get a victory point for doing that. Uh, but the symbols have to match, right? So I could put the, this over the Iron Gang or over the Merchant and get a victory point. All right. Who? Uh, that is all I can do, guys. I don't think I can do anything else because I've already used all of my actions. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and go to the cleanup phase. And uh, I got to get rid of all this stuff and uh, flip over these two cards. Um, all right, guys. So back up top to the lookout phase. So I flipped over these two cards. Let's go ahead and flip over four cards and see what we got. Um, so we got a courthouse, a labor camp, let me storage, and a Bronx game. Uh, so courthouse, uh, produce one brick and one bullet. Labor camp, spend one worker to gain two workers. That's pretty good. Uh, let me storage, you, I produce a bullet. And the Bronx gain, spend one worker and one gun to gain three contact tokens. Um, I think I want to grab this labor camp. I'll take the labor camp. And I need some, I need some uh, gears here, guys. He's going to take the Bronx gang. I think I'm going to take the courthouse. Let him take this storage. All right. And then he will draw two additional cards. All right. And now we're to me in the production phase. All right. So uh, I gain a victory point. I get a gas canister, a gun, a brick, a worker, a red contact token, another victory point. A blue contact token and a brick. Okay, I also get three workers. All right, one, two, and three. I also grab a gun, a gray contact token, and a card. What do I get? The iron game produce a red uh, contact token. All right, I also get another blue contact token for Ricky the Merchant and another iron for the iron gain, another red contact token. All right, well, I'm stacked up. I'm trying to do a lot of things to see if I can uh, get up. Only like 11 victory points away from winning the game, so I should be able to grab this either this turn or the next. Uh, so on to me. Uh, I'm going to spend two of my workers and grab this uh, thug's card he'll take the merchants grabbing him two victory points going to 10 all right back onto me so my entire stack of my deck of cards that i got over here uh i'm gonna spend well let's see um i need to get an action card out just to protect my um don't have a one action. I do have a one action. Okay, so I'm gonna spend one great contact token to play the labor camp. All right, and then he will go ahead and attack me. So it one gear. I don't have anything. All right, so I'm gonna spend one worker to gain two workers. 
Alright, so we'll go to him and he will draw the last card in the new era deck. So we got a gas canister and an up arrow. Alright. Uh so we gotta go back to the tiebreaker rules. It's either gonna be Ricky the Merchant or the Iron Gang. Um, all right, let me see here. So it's gonna be Ricky the Merchant. Uh will get raised. Okay. So uh I will gain a gas canister as a reward. Uh, and he will gr destroy that and grab two victory points, putting him at 12. All right, so I can kind of rest easy. Those are all the cards in the new era deck, guys. So go ahead and bust out the uh, original base game cards for the remainder of this playthrough. But uh, I should be able to get pretty close. All right, so I'm going to play Thugs. So spend one, um, one gun to gain three uh, red contact tokens. So that's one, two, and three. All right. And uh, I'm just going to go to work here and see what we got. Uh, so I don't have any gears. I'm going to spend another gun to gain another three uh, red contact tokens. I'm going to spend a gas canister to gain a blue contact token. All right. And I'm just going to start. Let's see. Well, I have. Is there anything that I have that can grab me victory points? Nothing off the top. All right, guys, so I've got three blue contact tokens. Let me go ahead and raise some stuff first. As you can see, my abundance of red contact tokens here. Uh, all right, so the first one off the top of my head, I'm going to spend uh, two uh, red contact tokens. So we're going to go ahead and raise the Lemmy Storage. So this will give me two bullets right here uh, and a victory point. All right, I also get a victory point for... Um, raising all right the next one guys we're gonna go ahead and do is spend another two uh red contact tokens to destroy the bronx gang all right so this is gonna give me a, a gun this is gonna give me a red contact token and a car so i get the rubble all right and then um I also forgot I can do cards, from, raise cards from my hand. Uh, I get a card from the deck, and then I also gain a victory point. All right. I also forgot I can raise cards from my hand. That's actually really useful. All right. Uh, so I'm going to spend a, another two red contact tokens, and I'm going to raise this rubble card from my hand. So that's another two victory points plus an extra for raising that. All right. Uh, let me make sure I got to separate these out. All right. So then do I have any other cards in my hand with victory points? I do. Uh, I'm going to spend another two for an excavator. So this is going to give me two bricks. And I wish I had something to do with these bricks. But this gives me a victory point, an additional victory point uh, for doing that. All right. So this goes away. And this is new era. All right. So put the new era over there. Uh, I have nothing else, <laughs> but I do have one. Do we have any with a one? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to spend one red contact token to raise the pickers, which will give me a victory point. Give me two workers. All right. I'm almost, I'm close. I'm close. Uh, two away. All right. Um, that's what he has there. All right. Uh, Choo, choo, choo. And let's see what I can do. I just need two to end it, and I should be able to do that. All right, so spend one blue contact token to make a deal with the new gang. Every time I make a deal, I get a victory point. And then what I'll just do is spend these last two and make a deal with the hanger and make a deal. I get a victory point. So that puts me at the 25 point threshold, guys. So this will be the last round. Um, of the game and uh, let's see I have nothing to use these bricks for I got a lot of workers uh, I'm gonna spend these two bullets to act as two gears trade in those two gears to gain two gray contact tokens and um, really at this point it doesn't matter uh, actually it kind of does uh, so spend these two whoops uh, great contact tokens to play the post office. This allows me to spend one worker to gain one blue contact token. So spend one worker, one blue contact token, spend another worker, one blue contact token. This can be activated twice. 
All right, and then uh, I'm gonna spend these two blue contact tokens to uh, make a deal with the excavation camp, giving me another victory point. And uh, I think that's that's it, guys. That's really all I can do. Can't use the bricks. I've already used my gun. I've already used my gas canister, and these can either just give me resources or cards, but that's not gonna help uh, me score points. All right. So that is the cleanup phase, guys. Let me go ahead and clean up uh, all of this stuff. And like I said, that will be the end of the game. So we'll go ahead and count up the uh, victory points. Um, and let's see what I got. So uh, I have one, two, three, four, five. So add in five points to that. So my total is 31. And he is one, two, three, four, five. So he is going to be at 17. So uh, I am victorious. Uh, 31 to 17, guys. All right, guys. Well, I am victorious. That was the New York uh, solo variant uh, to 51st State, guys, um, and also showing off the New Era expansion. Uh, my first impressions and thoughts uh, about this is, um, again, uh, the solo variants are kind of cool, just adding in small minor details, but that can be really uh, troublesome if you're not... Um, not paying attention uh the new era deck um I, I like the new era deck it's kind of cool it seems like majority of the new era deck is either making deals or raising and doing those will gain you those victory points um so you can see there like the last turn i scored like maybe like seven or eight victory points just for making deals and raising certain things. Um, so that's kind of cool where it seemed like the last one, the winter expansion, was all about generating resources or producing uh, resources. So that's kind of cool. I like, again, how these expansions are giving you different avenues and ways to play the game. But all right, guys, that is it for today's video. Um, as always, guys, hit that notification bell so you can keep getting notified when new content drops. And if you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you more awesome content. All right, guys, y'all have a great one. Bye.